Good afternoon, everyone. Allow me to present this project by showing you an image I borrowed from the web. This indirectly says that when authorities are absent, people tend to misbehave and do unacceptable behavior. And this is particularly true in tobacco control enforcement. When enforcers are on duty, you'll not see enforce you'll not see smokers in prohibited areas. However, as soon as the enforcer calls it a day and the night sets in, we see a different image. You have smokers doing their thing right next to the huge no smoking sign. This project is aimed in developing community participation on tobacco control enforcement by educating the community and getting their support. The focus is on the smallest political unit of the, of the Philippines, and that's the barangay. There are various stakeholders. However, our focus will be on two, and that's the community chief for the barangay captain, the, an elected official chosen by the residents, and the barangay security force, which is a, a majority male group, many current smokers so they are the targets to be enforcers because all regulations in the community are enforced by this group tobacco control enforcement and the creation of the smoke-free environment rest on several leverage points among this is the municipal tobacco control ordinance and related rules and regulations on tobacco control which the barangay captain has and all his officials have to follow. Next, we have the Healthy Lifestyle Program, which is endorsed by the barangay captain. And this is primarily because the health center is found within the facility of the barangay court. Next, we have the Municipal Smoke-Free Task Force and the Tobacco Control Council, which sets the policy to be followed in the municipality. And lastly, the municipal mayor, who also happens to be a tobacco control advocate. The path towards the smoke-free environment starts with information, education, and communication, whereby communi the community is made aware of the tobacco control policy and the smoke-free environment. We hope to generate community over ownership of the program, and this is the reason why we encourage establishment of the Barangay Smoke-Free Task Force, led by the Barangay Captain and selected members of the community as, as, as part of the task force. We have the Barangay Security Force, which through training and education will be turned into advocates and enforcers. And the political will of the mayor is the most important because when the mayor uh, when the barangay captain sees that the mayor is uh, determined, the barangay captains and his officials will likely follow the, the mayor and have their own will to implement tobacco control. <coughs> At the preparatory phase, we've, been, we've developed the information brochure for public distribution, revisited the training module for environmental enforcers and suited it for the barang for barangay tobacco control enforcement as technical assistance we have uh, developed the barangay tobacco control ordinance template and, uh, and the frequently asked questions paper on tobacco control tobacco industry interference to date the project has been introduced to the mayor the municipal smoke free task force the barangay captains and his officials, including the, the Youth Council. Uh, the, the Municipal Tobacco Control Ordinance has been adopted by the barangays, all 10 of them, and we've conducted three training sessions for enforcers. And each training session has 60 participants. Challenges and opportunities. There's equal challenge and opportunity. The delay in the next election has given us more time to prepare the IEC materials 
the rift among the barangay captains have forced the mayor to leave all barangay tobacco control activities even at the barangay level. And this is to unite all 10 barangay captains. Barangay officials owning or selling cigarettes is also a challenge. However, if they follow regulations, they'll set up an example so people will follow and abide by the law. And lastly, the current smokers among the community enforcers, in order for them to be effective, they have to lead by example, and because of that, they are most likely to see smoking to be effective and truly implement tobacco control. We'd like to see not only enforcers implementing tobacco control, but we'd like to see the community heading tobacco control enforcement.